Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about the free offensive security practice labs that are offered, uh, which include uh, vulnerable hub uh, machines and as well as other machines from easy to beginners. I'm going to show you how to install the OpenVPN uh, to be able to uh, access these virtual machines through that protocol. Thank you. Okay, guys, to be able to run the free OpenDVH practice lab machines for OSCP, you're going to first, I want you just so you know how to maybe locate it. If you don't know the link, you go to OSCP practice and it's going to be the second link program grounds play and practice. Once you're in here, you're going to have two options, either the play or the practice. The play are, is free access to all the training lab machines for OSCP. And then you also have the play, uh, the practice, uh, which uh, gives you a limited time and it's $19 a month. The difference is that the play only allows you three hours per day to use their machines. Once you click, let me play, it's going to take you to the sign in page. And it's gonna log you log you into your session. Uh, if you don't have a login, it's gonna opt you to log in to to register and create a login. To be able to run the machines, you're gonna have to connect to a VPN. To do that, we're gonna install the VPN package. And just for our purposes, we're going to regenerate the password as well. Now it's going to uh, opt you to save the file. And we're going to click OK. And this is going to be saved in your downloads folder. Now to uh, run the OpenVPN, uh, you're going to need your username. So we're going to click on copy on the username first. And then we're going to go back and get the password. To run the OpenVPN, you're going to go to your command terminal. You're going to CD to your downloads folder, which is where your file that you downloaded is. As you can see, it's the vpn-config.openvpn. And you're going to sudo openvpn. And then the name of the file, the config.ovpn. Here you're going to put your password for your Kali machine. Since you're trying to use the super user features. And here it's going to opt you to enter that password. So you're going to paste from clipboard the, your username. Click enter. And the password, which is right here, we're going to copy it. Once it's doing that, it's going to log in and it's going to set up your VPN. Okay, now that the VPN is running, I'm going to go back to the website and we're going to choose one of the machines. Let's say the GIST CTF and we're going to hit play. You also have the, the options to do flags, to enter the flags, but we're going to hit play and it's going to start in 90 seconds. Now that the machine has been started, you're going to see that the IP address is, shows up and it's 192.168.121.25. And to see, and uh, just to get uh, make sure that everything is going good, we're going to run the nmap command to enumerate the IP address.
This usually takes a little time, but you'll get valuable information. Now you can see that this is a, uh, has port open 22, which is SSH and port 80, which tells me this is probably some type of website. So we're going to try to run the site to see what happens. And you see it has does have a login form with username and password that are going to be possible uh, hacking scenarios for this purpose. But I hope you had a good uh, video and learn how to use the labs on OSCP and uh, just keep uh, hacking and just make sure you just do it with uh, ethically and only for learning purposes. This video is only for learning purposes. Thank you again. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also see other videos of even uh, how to install the virtual uh, machine using VirtualBox and installing Kali Linux. Thank you. Have a great day.